Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at compressing video files down to a smaller size from a, a larger video so you can upload them to YouTube or any other type of uh, channel that you'd like to upload them to. Now, the reason why you want to do this is if you've got slow internet speed uh, and very low upload speed, then this can take a long time to upload videos. So compressing them down is a really good way of getting those videos out to your um, subscribers or to your uh, fans. Now a good thing is uh, with this software which we're going to be taking a look at which is Ambrake it allows you to do just that. So you can see this is an open source video transcoder software works with Windows, Mac and Linux. It's open source and uh, you can download this for free and use it to uh, render out all your videos. So I've got it already uh, installed on my system. I've already got a video here which I created some time ago and you can see here 328 megabytes in size the quality on it is okay it's, it's nothing wrong with it I just wanted to show you how you can press compress these down without losing quality so we've got 328 here megabytes and it is also 1920 by 1080 uh, in size and I want to keep it at, at that as well okay you can see all the specs here so let's go ahead and open up Ambreak. Now, first thing you want to do here is choose what you want to do with selecting your source. Now, you can either do it in batch in the side of folder. So if you've got a load of files that you want to do it all in one fell swoop, you can use the folder option here. But we're going to do file. And you can see how file is here. So I'm going to select the video that we want to uh, compress down. Now, the first thing you want to do once you've installed your software is uh, enable the advanced options here. There will be a tab that comes after chapter. And uh, when you come in here, you won't see the advanced option here. So if you've got that missing, the reason why is because you haven't enabled it. So let me just go ahead and enable that by going Tools, Preferences. And inside here, you can see here, allow use of the advanced tab for X264 options. Put the tick in there and go back and voila, there it is. That's exactly what we want. So looking at the uh, settings here, we've got container MP4. We want to make sure it's web optimized. Make sure uh, in the picture, which is 1920 by 1080, that's fine. And we can leave this as is, move on to the filters. We don't need to touch anything inside here. And we can go into here, into the video section. And we're going to leave this as H264. Uh, uh, leave it on a peak frame rate. Now, uh, this is where uh, things uh, can change. We can see here constant quality. Now, you may want to mess around here uh, with this. Suggested values are 18 to 20 uh, for standard definition sources and 20 to 23 for high definition sources. We're just going to come back here okay this way to 30 I'm going to set this to 30 and this gives you slightly uh, lower quality but you won't probably notice it once we've finished now you can bump this up the other way uh, to 18 if you wish and try it there but I'm going to try bumping it down a little bit here then what we're going to do here is come down to where it says encoder present and we're going to come down to where it says medium on the encoder profile, we're going to set this to auto and encoder level, we're going to also set this to auto here. That's done. Now we can go into where it says use advanced tab instead. And then we can go into audio. I'm just going to drop this down to 128 bit rate. That's fine. Subtitles we can leave as is. Chapters. And advanced in the advanced area here you can see uh, we can uh, mess around inside here as well now if you look here at the re reference frames you can see here uh, val values from one to six the more you add the better the compression but the slower the encode so we can add right up say to five here if we wanted to I'm going to add five inside here and this will compress the file a lot more. Leave that as is. And uh, what we're going to do here 
is let's just take a look here make sure everything else is fine everything else looks okay here so what you can do next is come down to your add and we can make this whatever we like uh, we can do 1080p video and we can call this YouTube and this will just save this for us okay we're going to add that in and uh, again these are your presets here but when you look down here you'll see your presets down here that you've just created okay now again you want to play around with these settings for your videos until you get exactly how you like them because messing around here will help you uh, get the perfect setup for all your videos that you like doing so I can't stress that enough tweak it around as much as you like you may need to bump this up to the placebo quality a little bit uh, drop it down as far as you can uh, maybe until you don't lose any quality and the moment you start to drop off on quality you may want to bump it back up a little touch okay and that's what I would do uh, mess around with it so now we've got this done what we can do is add in our destination and I'm just going to put here loss this test let's just put that in there click save and uh, we're going to leave everything else as is and now we can go up to start encode and this will start to encode our video so we're just going to let that go ahead and do its job it might take a bit of time so I'll come back you see the progression bar down the bottom is green and it'll come all the way along here I'll show you when we've uh, finished this and I'll show you uh, what it looks like on both videos uh, compressed and uncompressed so you can see okay so we'll be right back so here we have the finished result I'll give you the size in a second but you can see here on the right is the uh, original uh, video uh, which is uh, 300 and something and then hit on the left is our lost us test and I'll show you exactly what that is right now so you can see here that's 73 megabytes come down from 328 megabytes so you too can mess around with the settings like that so if I play these both you'll see the quality is pretty much the same really And I'll just play them both. They'll probably be slightly out of sync because I'm I'm about to push one than in the other one. But as you'll see here, the quality is pretty much the same. You can see the finger definition is not much difference really in both of those. And it will probably just uh, let me just uh, let that go a little bit longer. There we go. So you can see now the quality is pretty much the same really and yet you're saving yourself a hell of a lot of space so that is how you can compress your videos by using this and you can change these settings to whatever you like here and uh, that is the uh, lossless and you can see here 73 megabytes in size compared to 328 anyway i hope this one helps you out just a quick video to show you how to compress your videos uh, and you can upload that to youtube it won't take long and it's very quick and easy to do rather than uploading 300 odd you can upload just uh, 78 and again you can probably cr compress that a little bit more and another thing to remember as well is the larger the file the more it's going to compress and the more uh, space you're going to save and quicker it's going to upload okay Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. I shall catch you again for another video real soon. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.